So tonight is our coldest night of the year event. It's a 2, 5, or 10K walk, and we've got 150 people, and we've got 23 teams coming out to support people who are in the cold every day, all day. Coldest night of the year has been really important as an awareness campaign. You go out and you walk in the cold for an hour, and it really makes you think about the people that are out there for 24 hours a day. The plight of the homeless and the poverty community here in Lethbridge is severe and significant, and it's important that people know that. And a walk like this really drives that point home. I love doing this. Uh, it's great in terms of raising awareness for what Streets Alive does, but also to raise money for the homeless and the poor, the hungry in our in our community here is awesome. Uh, and it's an opportunity to have families out. This is a huge family event um, to teach them about what happens here with the homeless and to uh, let them know what it's like to be cold for a couple hours. And there's a lot of kids walking and it's a great way to really introduce them to the plight of the homeless, to make them think about people that have less than themselves. And that's what's going to grow a caring community because those kids need to know that not everybody has it like they have it at home. This is a great event um, to come out to. It's an easy fundraiser. Uh, the money that we raise stays here with Streets Alive and goes directly to people that need it. People need to be fed. There's people going hungry in Lethbridge. And coldest night of the year goes a long way to making sure those meals are there. We've seen an absolutely unprecedented growth in the mission in the last three to four years. Um, we've seen our, our programs need to triple in size. We've seen our numbers go from, we used to serve on a busy night, 30 people a sandwich at the sandwich bus when that was in existence. And now we're feeding over 100 to 150 people a night at the soup kitchen. Those numbers are staggering. And that's just happened in the last three to four years. Poverty is always going to be there but we can certainly help limit the, the amount of impact it is having on our beautiful community. Donations are taken online at cnoy.org slash Lethbridge. And even if they don't know a walker that was participating tonight, they can still jump on. That website's gonna be live for a couple weeks. If that's not convenient for them, they're welcome to just drop down to the mission. And so tonight, when people are coming and raising almost $60,000, I think we're 50 plus tonight at this point, that's a lot of meals, and that really scares away a lot of hunger. And if you don't think that makes a difference, you talk to anybody at the soup kitchen tonight getting one of those meals, because it makes a difference to them. So thank you so much.